In this work, we propose an authoring and collaboration platform for dance shows that integrates the creative elements that compose a choreography, music, dance, and group motion. The system is based on a timeline, which describes musical measures and control signals. The choreographer just determines the combination of dance steps and the way the dancers move on stage as a group. Let's see a simple example. First, we position the dancers on stage and determine a trajectory that they should follow. We can preview the resulting group motion. We should also specify a dance step and we can now view the resulting animation. We will now discuss some technical aspects of our system's authoring tools. In capturing motion while the dancer performs through music, we can create a structured, measure synchronous motion graph by segmenting the data according to musical phrases and by annotating dance steps. We take advantage of the structure for interpolating motion sequences, for combining lower and upper body motions, and for other mechanisms such as allowing rotations, and inserting amplitude variations and time warpings to make the group dance more natural. While the music's rhythm guides the segmentation of dance steps, the melody determines the control signals that should be synchronized with motion events. Formations are created by determining shape, density, and pattern. The choreographer can also specify symmetries. Once the formations are created, the choreographer can determine the positions and movement of the dancers on stage according to the music timeline. When specifying movements based on boundary conditions, the choreographer determines a rule for matching the initial and final positions and regenerate paths using a bipartite graph matching algorithm followed by a collision control method. Notice how different rules result in different motions. Choreographers can also specify motions based on initial conditions and evolution rules. These can be declarative, such as a sketch of a trajectory on stage, or based on simulation and control methods. This allows us to explore, for example, behavioral animation methods that allow dancers to follow attraction forces, repulsion forces, and spread out on the stage, avoiding neighbors and obstacles. We create a hierarchical structure that allows the choreographers to group dancers according to previous positions on stage or attributes such as ability, height, costumes, etc. This grouping is used not only for determining the group motions, but also for specifying the dance of each performer from a list of dance steps.